Legend, this item is always available for free. This item was temporarily available for free. This item is purchasable with atoms. This item was only available to Fallout first subscribers and may be considered legacy content. This item was only obtainable during a seasonal scoreboard and may be considered legacy content. This item was only obtainable by advancing Overseer rank within the Nuclear Winter Game mode. This item was not purchasable with Atoms, was only available for a limited time and is considered legacy content. These items are not guaranteed to reappear in the Atomic Shop. This item has yet to make its debut in the Atomic Shop and is considered upcoming content. These items may be introduced in a later patch or have recently been added to the live version of the game. This item has yet to make its debut in the Atomic Shop and is considered unused content. These items are not guaranteed to be released. This item will not be released to the Atomic Shop and is considered to be cut content. These items may be introduced in a later patch, but are non-functional in their current form. The canon status of content from the Atomic Shop was discussed by design director Emil Pagliarulo in August 2020. Pagliarulo stated that the status of many purchasable objects in the shop do not strictly confine to established lore and canon, as the internal rules for what can be placed in the Atomic Shop are very loose. Some items may have conflicting status within the lore, but are placed in the Atomic Shop because of their fun factor. Patch 1.2.2.9 introduced special vault boy cutouts to all train stations, which served as in-game atomic shop access points. After negative community feedback, they were removed in the following patch. They were still available in the nuclear winter game mode until its discontinuation on September 8, 2021. 